we can finally put all of the speculation to rest. The ongoing saga of is Daredevil from Netflix canon or not canon to the MCU has been answered by the one and only Marvel Studios executive producer, Brad Winderbaum. So now we never have to talk about this again. And I obviously say that ironically because people still argue that Deadpool is not gonna be R-rated. So let's get to the canon status. So this comes at us from a interview that was done by Screen Rant where they asked point blank Brad Winderbaum whether or not the Netflix show is canon and why or why not. Brad goes on and talks about how Marvel Studios and Marvel TV were two separate brands and entities. Each side knew what the other one was doing, but there was a lack of communication because of everything that was going on. Now, of course, most of you know, Marvel Entertainment was run by a completely separate entity out of New York that wanted nothing to do with Marvel Studios, and they embargoed all the TV characters. Brad then goes on and addresses Daredevil directly. And he says, yes, the series is canon. And now he's comfortable enough to say that because they're moving forward with one shared universe and everything we saw Daredevil involved with over on the Netflix side is part of the sacred timeline and it is canon. Now, we all knew this. If you just looked at everything, all the hints they dropped, everything, the mannerisms of Daredevil, the leaks from Daredevil Born Again, we know it was canon. They were just playing loose with it because you don't need to acknowledge it. You don't need a moment in She-Hulk or Born Again or Echo where Matt Murdock looks at the camera and goes, remember episode three when I got punched in the rib? Here's the scar. It's canon. Like they don't need to beat you over the head with it. Just use your brain for a second and pay attention and listen to the cues. I get people are still not going to believe it, I get people are still going to talk about it as if it's not, but it's quite obvious it is. And the fact that they're bringing back more characters and acknowledging everything and literally tying elements of Hawkeye and Echo and Daredevil Born Again from what we understand back to all these events and they're going to keep exploring those themes, the same characters returning, plot lines in a way being referenced and coming back. Of course, it all makes sense now. To me, this was just exactly what we needed we needed this confirmation now let's never uh, let's never talk about it again please don't ever talk about this again it's canon it is why does daredevil act slightly different because for the love of god i hope in the last decade you have grown as a human because people grow if you haven't i don't know what to tell you you must have learned something that's made you grow in a certain way or questioned something that you believed in and then you're like oh you know what okay maybe i was wrong on that i learned from that that's growth everybody has it the mcu has it guess what daredevil his world moved on with the blip and everything and now we got a new world coming at us new characters everything happened it's canon we're just moving with a new story